Hello and welcome to a new video on tutorialspedia.com YouTube channel. In organizations with dozens of heterogeneous applications and systems integrated together in order to achieve the business goals and to ensure that data is transferred and transmitted across all these applications, integration plays a very critical and pivotal role. So all these organizations try to make sure that they hire best integration professionals who can do the job in the right way and in the right approach and they use the best practices and do the integration works in such a way that all parties and all internal and external application can communicate with each other in an efficient manner. In this video, I will talk about 10 things that you should keep into, into your consideration that will make you a great integration professional. Before I proceed, I would request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel before so that you may get such videos in future as well as soon as they are published. So if you are in the integration domain and you are an integration developer or integration consultant, the most important thing for you to be an expert in the area of enterprise application integration or in the area of ESP development is that you should be not limited to just one product or one vendor. In the market, we have different EAI and ESB offerings available from proprietary to open source. And as a integration expert or as a professional who has a thorough understanding of integration technologies available in the market, you should have a fair idea and knowledge of different products that are available in the market. You should have an understanding how TIPCO business works, works how Mule ESB works, how uh, IBM integration bus works uh, and also other other integration products that are available for example WSO2 integration suite or uh, any other product that is available in the market. It's not necessary that you have complete understanding in terms of nitty gritties as well for all of these products as it's not practical to know exactly each and every integration product which is available in the market but at a higher level you should have an understanding how these products provide their uh, offerings, what are the differences, what are the pros and cons, and which of these products best suits to any specific organization's needs. All of these products mostly are mature enough and they have great uh, support model, they have uh, a great documentation available, and they have uh, many of them have trial versions available. So you can play, you can try with these products, and you can have a better understanding of all these products and that will make you a great integration professional. The second important thing for an integration consultant or for an integration developer is that he should not be limited to only that specific integration tool sets, but also he should have exposure and understanding of several additional tools that come into the picture when you are in the consultancy or a development role in the area of integration development. For example, you should have understanding of different DevOps tools. You should have understanding how Jenkins works, how you uh, do uh, versioning using Git or SVN or any other version control uh, tool. You should have understanding of different testing tools. You should know how to uh, test different type of REST or uh, SOAP web services. For example, how to use SOAP UI, how to use Postman, how to uh, do the continuous testing how to do the continuous integration and continuous uh, de uh, deployments. And uh, um, when you are in the area of integration development, sometimes you have to write code in order to extend the uh, abilities of the application or in order to do any, any type of customization. And for that, you should have understanding how different IDEs work. For example, if you're working with some uh, ESP product or some uh, middleware, which is based on Java, then you should know how to use uh, different IDEs where you can implement and you can uh, develop your uh, Java code like Eclipse, uh, NetBeans, IntelliJ. And also you should uh, have some knowledge of databases as whatever uh, integration product you are using, for sure you will be uh, communicating with database uh, in order to persist your data. So having a knowledge uh, basic knowledge or somehow intermediate knowledge of databases, how relational databases work, how uh, non-relational uh, databases like MongoDB works, and all these type of uh, database related things, how to tune database queries, how to write efficient queries, 
and how to test and track such situations where you have to man you have to deal with databases these are very important things and uh, for any integration developer having sound knowledge or understanding of these concepts will be of great help the next important thing for an integration developer is that if you are working with any integration product you should have fair understanding of different programming languages and scripting as uh, i told before that sometimes you have to write your custom code sometimes you have to extend the uh, functionalities which are readily available in your uh, eai offering and for that uh, you should know exactly uh, how how you can do uh, different type of uh, uh, scriptings and uh, programming for example if you are working with tipco business work or if you are working with some other uh, ei uh, or esb where you have to write custom code in java then having uh, understanding of uh, programming concepts in java uh, is of a great help and if you are working with the uh, 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 microsoft business bistock in that case it's important that you know how to uh, implement certain um, codes in uh, .NET because uh, microsoft bistock is based on .NET so uh, the point is that whichever integration area you are working on or whichever integration product you are using uh, you should know that we, this product relies on what kind of programming languages and if you have to do any customization if you have to do any enhancements if you have to write any custom implementation uh, which programming language you have to use and also you sometimes you have to do certain level of scripting this scripting is not necessarily for uh, the extension but also sometimes you have to do scripted deployments some sometimes you have to write certain scripts in order to automate certain jobs at the os level uh, for example if you are uh, deploying your eai uh, applications or your services in a linux based uh, or unix based platform there you will have to write certain bash scripts or even if you are not working with linux in you are working in windows there also there might be some situation where you have to write certain scripts maybe in uh, standard uh, bat script or you have to write some some uh, perl scripts or any other kind of scripting language you have to use so it's very important that you are not uh, just uh, limited to drag and drop functionalities uh, available in the tools but you also have a good understanding of programming and scripting and in this uh, case uh, it's very important and uh, very you, it will be very handy for you if you have uh, sound knowledge and concepts of object oriented programming how object oriented programming uh, works and how uh, you can uh, utilize your uh, oop skills uh, while implementing certain programs or scripts the next important uh, skill for any integration professional or integration consultant is that you should have a fair understanding of uh, uh, api documentation and you should be able to use different documentation frameworks and tool sets as uh, you know that uh, whenever you uh, implement your apis and you publish them for the public then they become available in the developer portals and documentation plays a very important role in these scenarios and if you are aware of uh, different uh, documentation frameworks like if you know how to use swagger tools how you can use uh, raml especially if you are working with mule soft raml is very important uh, uh, in in doing this type of uh, uh, modeling for your apis and then you should have knowledge of certain other uh, modeling and documentation frameworks and this will greatly help you to uh, ensure that you expose your apis uh, in such a way that uh, they are well documented and you you are using these tools in a proper way the next important skill for an integration professional or in order to make you a great integration professional is that you should have knowledge and exposure of api management platforms uh, whenever you uh, implement any backend services using any of the uh, ESPs or any of the integration platforms, then these APIs or these services are exposed, and then API management plays a very important role to uh, do all the policies enforcement, to provide analytics, analytical dashboards, uh, to uh, to manage the traffic, to do the throttling, and several other type of uh, actions before these uh, services are invoked from the back end. So uh, there are different uh, products uh, for API management available in the market. Some of them are proprietary. Some of them are open source. 
So having the uh, idea and knowledge of how API management works and how you can utilize API management tools and API management products is very important. And uh, in this area, it's also important that you know the difference between uh, cloud-based API management platforms, uh, your on-premise platforms, and also how you can use hybrid platforms where certain components of API management are on cloud and certain uh, components are on-premise. Uh, there are different API management uh, products or API management solutions available in the market. For example, we have Google APG, we have Tipco Machinery, we have uh, WSO2 API Manager, we have Mule uh, API management offering, we, uh, Oracle also provides API management solutions, and there are some other uh, products also available in the market which you can use. Some of them uh, also provide you some trial features on the cloud. You can just create an account uh, and then you can just play with it and have a know-how how it works. There are documentations also available for these API management platforms uh, online. So you can read that as well in uh, tutorialspedia.com uh, YouTube channel as well as tutorialspedia.com website also. You can find enough content about API management I will put some links in the description if you are interested to understand in detail how API management works and how it plays an important role in any organization. The next important thing for integration professionals is that uh, they should be able to enforce certain security features when they are doing the integration work and when they are creating applications and services uh, using any of the uh, EAI ESB tool. In the current uh, world where uh, we have dozens of uh, applications in any organization communicating internally as well as externally and security has become a very uh, very important uh, aspect of all these communications and integrations and organizations uh, spend a big sum of money to ensure that all their data and all their uh, resources are secure enough uh, from all type of uh, thefts and all type of hackings and crackings. So whenever you are uh, implementing integration solutions, integration services are actually one of the major cause of the security breaches. So it's very important in majority of organizations that uh, all the applications which are exposing their interfaces through integration mechanism are secure enough. So when you are implementing your integration services, it's very important for you that you understand the concepts associated with the security features that these uh, EAI ESB uh, tools provide you. You should know how SSL works. You should know how uh, you can uh, enforce two-way SSL, which is also known as mutual SSL. And you should have fair understanding of how you can achieve authentication and authorization uh, when you are uh, creating your integration services. Again, uh, use of API management greatly helps in achieving this at the API management level where you do all the necessary authorization and authentication. You perform all the, all the throttling and several other policies, for example, blacklisting or whitelisting certain, uh, certain uh, users or, uh, or certain IP addresses. These type of uh, security measures you can enforce. So it's very important for you as an integration professional that you know all the concepts associated with the security and you know how to achieve the security, uh, these security aspects using the EI product that you are using. Next important thing is that uh, whenever you are performing uh, any integration services and you are exposing integration services, you should have very sound knowledge of how to play with data for doing the translation, transformation, and manipulation. Most of the times when you are uh, doing the integration, you have to deal with different systems and applications which expect data in different formats and in different type of uh, hierarchy. So it's very important that when you are in the middle, uh, in the, as a middleware or as an integration service, then you know uh, how to play with the data and make sure that you provide the data in the way it is required for the applications downstream or upstream. In this regard, it's important that you have sound knowledge and concepts of how to play with XMLs, how to play with JSON, and how to play with any data that is coming or going from or to uh, from a relational or a non-relational database. 
you should know how XSLT work, how you, you can do the transformations, how you can use different XPath function, how you can use regular expressions, and how you can perform XML to JSON or JSON to XML transformations. And also you should have a good understanding of different aspects of REST and SOAP implementations, how they work, how they communicate data and uh, also if you are using any API management platform then these platform provide you uh, inbuilt support for SOAP to, uh, SOAP to REST or REST to SOAP and also for XML to JSON and JSON to XML convergence. So it's very important that not only from the products but also in terms of the standard programming you know how to play with these uh, type of data sets. For example, you should know if you are using Java, how you can use uh, different libraries in Java for uh, for transforming the data from XML to JSON or JSON to XML, how to uh, traverse through the uh, trees in an XML data or in a JSON uh, data set. So it's very important that you are well versed and well aware of the transformation and translation options available uh, in data processing at the integration level. The next important thing is that you should have the knowledge of uh, cloud and hybrid architectures and containerization. Nowadays, uh, uh, this is very common to hear uh, different uh, forums and uh, different platforms. People are talking about cloud-based solutions and many of the uh, companies are moving their data to the public or uh, proprietary clouds or their internal private clouds. So knowledge of cloud-based computing, how cloud systems work, and how you can uh, use the container additions of different uh, uh, EI products is very important. For example, if you are working in TIPCO business works, you should know how TIPCO container addition works. And also uh, you should have a fair understanding how you can achieve a similar type of functionalities using container additions. You should have knowledge how to do the deployments and or how to do all the necessary integrations where you, when you are working with a cloud-based environment and how to ensure that security is not compromised. So a knowledge of uh, different cloud services and uh, uh, about uh, different uh, uh, container-based uh, products uh, from offered by these uh, EAI or ESP vendors is very important uh, to become a thorough integration professional because uh, in future, everything is uh, slowly moving towards cloud and the concept of cloud-based integration is rapidly growing uh, in the area of integration uh, platforms as well. The next important thing is that uh, if you are working in integration area, then you should have a strong grip on industry standards and best practices. Every EAI or ESP product that is available in the market uh, provides you certain standards and best practices which are mostly available in their documentations as well and you also learn by your experiences so you should also you should always make sure that you utilize your uh, utilize these best practices to ensure that all the integrations that you do are best uh, are, are best in their nature and they are efficient in terms of uh, integrating different internal and external systems and applications in this regard, it's very important that you have sound understanding of different design patterns that are available and which are handy uh, when you are doing uh, implementation of your integration services. You should know how you can do the performance tuning and uh, utilize the resources in, a best, in the best possible way. And also you should know how you can use different uh, service-oriented architecture principles uh, when you are doing your implementations. Uh, for example, if you are doing certain type of messaging uh, across uh, different applications, what are the best methods and best practices for the messages, uh, for message communication, uh, like publish subscribe mechanisms or point-to-point -point communication, how you can do the filtering and routing. Uh, for all these uh, type of uh, situations, there are certain uh, industry standards and best practices that you should follow. And you should have a knowledge of these best practices to make sure that you use uh, the features available in the ESP in the best possible way. Well, the last thing in this list uh, of 10 uh, things that make you a good professional integration developer or integration consultant is the mindset of learning. So you should never consider yourself as um, a master. You should always be eager to learn new things. As you know, technology is moving in a very fast pace 
different technologies, different uh, technology features, different aspects, and different phenomena are coming into the picture. And every other day you see that uh, there are certain changes to which you need to adapt. So you should never stop learning uh, whenever there are new products available in the market, whenever there, there are new versions available in the market for different uh, ESP uh, products. You should uh, be eager and keen to understand those. You should learn those technologies and you should be, uh, you should be running uh, at the same pace as which technology is running. Otherwise, uh, your knowledge will not get updated and any, with, with your outdated knowledge, uh, it's it's not possible for you to become a market uh, a demand a well demanding market professional so it's very important that you you learn new things for example if you are a tipco business works uh, developer or integration consultant then uh, if you used uh, tipco bw5 you should uh, uh, play with the bw6 as well and understand the concepts how it's different from bw5 what are the new features that it offers also if you're working with ibm integration bus you should know how the latest technologies or latest advancements in the integration with ibm products have changed from the previous versions or with any other product that you are using you should uh, and spend your time learning new things and to make sure that all the latest technologies latest concepts and latest trends which are available in the integration area uh, you are aware of those well that completes all these 10 uh, things that you should know as an integration professional to make sure that uh, you are a highly demanded uh, professional in the market and i hope that uh, these concepts and these uh, uh, points that i shared with you will be helpful for you to best uh, uh, utilize your time and you um, in, in order to make sure that you choose the right track to be uh, on, in, a, in such a pace that you, you become valuable in future more than what you are today. So if you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, do uh, comment below the um, video if you have any points to add or if you have anything to discuss further. Thank you very much and uh, bye bye for now.